Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today I'll be showing you how you can pitch shift your audio without causing audio degradation or unwanted artifacts. This video is gonna be a little bit more technical, but it's definitely important, so stick around for the full video. But first, if this is a topic that you find interesting, I'd highly recommend looking into the blog post that's associated with this video. There's a link for that in the description box below. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample for you to review. All you have to do is create this account, upload the song, and we can do the rest. Now, the first thing to understand about pitch shifting is that it alters the rate at which your computer is reading an audio file samples. For example, if your session is running in a 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate, your digital recordings are being recorded and read at 44.1 kilohertz per second, or in other words, there are 44.1 thousand samples read every second. Now, this number is important because it determines the frequency range of your signal. In fact, half of your sampling rate is the frequency range that your digital recording can reproduce. So if your recording has a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz, your frequency range being half of this number will be from zero hertz to 22,500 hertz. But why is this important? Well, if you're shifting the pitch of a digital recording, you're potentially reducing the sampling rate, in turn reducing the frequency range of that recording. For example, if I wanted to shift a track to half its normal speed, and the track was recorded with a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz, I'm telling the computer to read the file at 22.5 kilohertz per second. Now this action would decrease the frequency range to 11,250 hertz as its max. Now this is problematic for a lot of reasons, including potential aliasing and unwanted distortion of your signal. So how do we remedy this? Well, the best method for being able to shift the pitch of your signal without causing audio degradation or unwanted artifacts is to record at a high sampling rate. So if instead of 44.1 kilohertz, we recorded at 96 kilohertz, then we pitch shifted down, this wouldn't be an issue. We'd still have the full frequency range to work with, and the audio wouldn't degrade or become distorted in any way. With that said, let's listen to a recording that was made at 96 kilohertz, reduced to half of its speed. Now you'll notice that although the pitch has been reduced significantly, the audio quality is still intact. So this is how you pitch shift without losing quality. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also again, definitely check out the blog post where you can find a lot more information on this topic and others like it. There's a link in the description box below. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample of it. All you have to do is set up the super easy to create account, upload the song, and we can do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.